Hey guys, it's uh, Serge here. I wanted to uh, today have a look at Tesla Motors, which on uh, earlier this week, on Tuesday, actually came out with some news around sales, saying they sold or um, or delivered uh, something like 20% more cars than they thought they would, and um, and that's and that's looking very constructive for here on the chart. So. Uh, let's let's have a look at this from a uh, multi-year, uh, or, or I should say, about a 12-month perspective. First of all, it seems like multi-year stocks done so much as of late. But if you look back to the point where it started really moving, which was earlier last year in the first quarter, and you sort of draw a, a very simple Fibonacci resists uh, um, retracement line, you see that uh, at the time we we bottomed here in uh, November. After the correction, we'd retrace just about 50%, and that's exactly uh, what you want to see in a healthy stock: is those important Fibonacci retracement levels uh, to hold. And 50% and is not even so much just a Fibonacci level; it's just a, retra a retracement. In this case, more of a mean reversal level that um, uh, that's important to look at. So that's one point of of, uh, of support that came in play here in, in in November when the stock bounced. The second area really was the f the 200-day moving average. Uh, which uh, it didn't it didn't quite get there, but it, it coincided with the 50% retracement, uh, more or less, and close enough that the stock then started bouncing, and that's actually very constructive uh, through this um, this sort of medium to longer term lens, if you will. Um, if we then take another another look at it, uh, what we know is that it then took a while to build a little bit of a base, and uh, the stock started doing some pretty constructive things here in the in the nearer term. Breaking out of little basis, little little flags uh, here and there, um, but then ultimately settled into a, con a consolidation area uh, here below the the 200 day uh, the 100 day moving average, which is this uh, blue line, and uh, didn't really do anything until the the, the pop that came. Uh, on Tuesday. Now the rally on Tuesday was significant not only in terms of uh, uh, its its percentage uh, magnitude, but also in the fact that it came in a lot of volume. So, uh, so that was very important. And uh, at this point, it looks like the stock is ready to move towards that $180 area and potentially beyond. I'm just looking at this sort of in the more near-term perspective. But the outside day, uh, which was very strong on Tuesday, is really the catalyst that I'm seeing here. For the stock to move higher now, the earnings for the for the company aren't due until I believe about the uh, 20th of February, so a little more than a month, uh, one month away. So there's plenty of room for the stock to move higher. Uh, if it does uh, decide to fall apart anytime soon, uh, in other words, if it starts retracing more than say half of Tuesday's move, certainly that would not be a bullish sign. So for the time being, I'm I'm bullish on Tesla until uh, it shows us any sort of meaningful bearish reversals. Hope this makes sense. Take care.